Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The MK Lady. Well, it feels like I haven't done a video, a sit down video like this in a oh, couple weeks. I've been doing some shorts and I had uh, short YouTube videos and I had a vacation. We had a wonderful time. We went to Vegas. It is quite expensive now. Two bottles of water at the casino was like nine bucks American, which would be like 12 bucks Canadian. So our dollar wasn't that great, but I did end up getting a few things. I'm gonna do a haul video because I got a couple shoes, a couple dresses, uh, three purses, Troy Birch, Michael Kors. Yeah, two Michael Kors and a Troy Birch. Of course, I got those. Um, but I had to be super, super mindful of what I was getting because we were coming back on the plane and I didn't want to overstuff my luggage and pay the extra fees. I did see this huge minion for my grandson because he loves minions. It was a dancing minion. But I didn't end up getting it because there would have been no room in the suitcase and we would have been hauling this minion so i'm on the hunt for a huge dancing minion right now maybe i'll have to order it online but i do have a few tips and tricks that i wanted to show you i want to show you the purse of the day i want to show you some of the items i took and i wish i didn't take um i did actually pick up a few things before and next time I think we're going back again in November I'm hoping I'm hoping to go to the Post Malone concert if all the stars align because the last time I was supposed to go to Post Malone uh March 2020 um the world shut down and it was a pandemic so my concert got cancelled so I'm hoping fingers fingers crossed that I can go but so I already pre-packed. I know what my outfit's gonna be. I know what I wanna take and I have it all right here. But I did wanna show you purse of the day is the beautiful prism. Now this one is in the rose gold and it is the soft pink. I'm not gonna bring it all out but it does have these beautiful pink chains. And then just this star animal kind of sweater and gray pants that would be the purse of the day that i'm taking i'll just put that down here because i have a lot of stuff here so the two purses i took with me are and i picked these up at winners on the way down and i would highly recommend it now this one i don't have the um tag for but I, and there's no name on it. It's a little tiny sparkly little clutch. You could use it kind of as a shoulder bag. And I use this a couple nights because it's so light, but it doesn't fit very much. It's nicely lined with kind of the silk fabric and it's really sparkly, super comfortable, super lightweight. You can't fit very much. So if you're walking around, cause you do have to take comfortable shoes. I did take too many shoes. So my runners, my Michael Kors, a some pairs of sandals and yeah, I'm not packing. Next time I go, I'm taking a backpack and also a carry on. I'm not going to do check luggage. So I really have to downsize, but I think this one might come back with me because I love, loved using it. And these are adjustable and you can even take them off. You can use this as like a little hand clutch. I didn't though. And, or you could just take them all off. Let me just put it back in here. And you could just use it as a little clutch carrying. And it's so lightweight, like, you could just use it a little clutch like that. So that's probably coming back with me. And I did pick this one up at Winners as well. Now this brand, I can see it's called Sandra Roberts. And it is a crossbody bag. Yeah, Sandra Roberts. And it is super beautiful. Now... It is kind of funny, so it is kind of heavy. It doesn't fit very much. It doesn't have a backslip pocket, but I mean, I I use this, I think, one night. 
I believe when we were at the casino and walking around and then it could be crossbody and you can use it just like that. It feels like it's faux leather. This was 39 at Winners too. And then you can take off the chains and just use it like as a cute little clutch. I didn't use it as a cute little clutch, but you can also fold over the chains and um, it just fits the basic minimum so you can use it as a nice shoulder bag and there is a piece of leather here that doesn't uh, the, the chain won't hit your shoulders but I like the chain it looks super fancy kind of reminds me of the YCL clutch a little bit I can't remember if that's the Lulu but it's super comfy just doesn't fit a whole lot and then I don't know I don't think this is coming back because the chain is super substantial and heavy but I do like these chain detailing so this won't be coming back I'll just put it right here now I did take the Puma belt bag and this was really nice wearing and then I could do a crossbody or I could carry it like this and it's super lightweight just for the day, just for walking around. You can fit makeup bag, your phone, a few other things. But I really think I might take this back with me for days. So, and then for the plane, I did take this beautiful Steve Madden. And then I, I did take this on day trips too. This was 39 at Winners. It's kind of like a mauve color has two back pockets or two zip pockets and then some stuffing not stuffing but slip pockets there i did like this it did carry um small water bottles and the straps were super comfortable like you could just throw it over i didn't take this with me because that would have been in the way but look at how cute that is um so this might come back but I do have a replacement for it it is quite small and I do have a little bigger one so we'll put those over here that might come back but I did find this time and true backpack from Walmart $39 this one has a back zip it's all nylon it's all black it would fit a large water bottle like you you know one of those tall water bottles because you do want to stay hydrated <laughs> in Las Vegas because you're doing a lot of walking so take a backpack of some sort with you and like I said here is my large water bottle and if I didn't have the straw up like it could basically fit a large size water bottle as you could see and there's plenty of room for your stuff your items it does have one zip pocket so this one is definitely coming with me hopefully in november when i go to see post malone that's my hopes and that's what it looks like it is it is a little bigger than the Steve Madden one and it does expand so this one is very structured so this one is coming back with me and I do like these straps that are a little thicker and they're kind of like fabric fabric straps because you're gonna be carrying this for a long time it does have a top handle so that's definitely coming with me and I want to highly recommend I did pick up this let's see where did i put the package this is a travel blanket it's a jersey knit travel blanket and it was so comfy in the air airplane that it fits anywhere and it's so handy when you're cold because you know the airplanes get quite cold but i mean it just folds up nicely just like that and let me put that there it just zips open I washed it already and it's just your basic travel blanket but look how long and big that is so when I was in the airplane and I was getting kind of cold because I'm a cold person I mean it covered me and it was super nice so I am taking that with me 
at Walmart G-Force for $16.99. I do have another travel blanket, but I didn't take that one. Now, this is what I wish I would have taken is one of those head sleep pillows that you can just attach to your luggage and carry it like that because I fell asleep on the plane both ways. So this is definitely coming with me. And then I did talk to you about some of the hotels in Vegas do not have coffee pots. So this was so super handy. I got it on Amazon, heated up my water and it just folds nice and compact in your carry-on. And then I took these little Starbucks tabs with me and made my own coffee and sugar and then when you're at the hotel you can just grab a few more at the restaurant and that's what we did so this is definitely coming back with me now some of the other hotels might have coffee pots but not the excalibur or the link or the flamingo those ones so you're probably wondering what this is this is a portable humidifier stick that i took this comes all apart. You put it in the water. This is kind of the foam that you put inside. You plug it into a cord charger thing. And I'll just show you. You can make it smaller. You just pull it apart like this for a smaller cup. Then you would put the smaller one in. So it blows and mist because it's always so dry in hotels. Or you can put the larger one in and if you have a larger cup let's see just snap it in there you can stick it in the larger cup and it miss for six hours because I always get sinusy and a lot of um, from the AC and everything uh, a lot of sinus issues so that is definitely coming back with me and instead of taking my ginormous curling iron I will be taking got this I can't even remember it's a little tiny mini curling curling iron I'll be taking this on my carry-on and compared to this huge one right here this one will be coming on and this is what I did my hair with today so it does take a little extra time because it's a little smaller but I took this one to Europe so I got it about six or eight years ago but this is what will be coming with me and then I did buy some compression socks for the airplane but I don't know they didn't seem to work so that won't be coming with me and like I said before I will be taking this one because this one I got when I showed you on the short is like a bit of a belt bag but it's also kind of dressy this is from Walmart as well and it does have a couple zips and two open areas it has kind of this mesh material and then the shiny but I was so surprised like if you want to try bags out just try the lower end cheaper brands and you'll soon love them like I didn't know if I would love this little tiny baby backpack from Steve Madden, but I do because it came in so handy. But this one can be a shoulder bag and it can be like if you want to carry it just like this over or it can turn into a belt bag. And that's what I like about this option of this you just adjust it and it's by Steve Madden New York so I found this after my trip I wish I would have found this before because instead of taking that other skinny one this one right here this Puma this Puma one I think I would take this one just because then I could use it on dressier nights out and carry it just like that and it fits super comfortable too now it did come with an adjustment and I just kind of maneuvered mine like through here to make it a belt bag so actually it did come with this little coin purse but I really don't see myself using this little coin purse whatsoever because it's um 
I don't know, it just seems like extra weight. So it came with this little coin purse and then you hook it up to this little strap and that's how I connected it. So yeah, I don't think I'll be taking this little coin purse. This just seems like a little extra and yeah, I don't know. It would be good for change and stuff or little items, maybe your chapstick. I don't know, maybe I'll take it, but I don't know. I kind of don't like the way it looks there, so I probably won't take it. But yeah, those are some of the tips and tricks and the items I will take. And I'm gonna try take a small carry-on and a backpack. I wanna show you the couple, three items for um, sneak peek. So I got this MK, it's a small crossbody. This one is in the what you call kind of the cloth material and then oh my goodness this one I use quite a bit and this is a little tiny toy birch it does have top handles we'll go into details when I do the the unboxing but it does have a nice long chain and then I got this Michael Kors Carmen and this is a little bigger half moon shape type of crossbody but we'll go into those three when I do my Las Vegas haul and I think that is all I'm gonna be taking with me it's like very very little I don't want to take and lug around a carry-on I'm just hoping and hoping that I can go again in a couple months and I don't know we'll see what happens but stay tuned for Friday's unboxing there's gonna be a lot I got a couple dresses a couple shoes three purses and yeah, it seemed like a lot, but it, it's not a lot, but things are super expensive there as well. And purse of the day, the prism and the beautiful rose gold hardware. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, The MK Lady. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time I upload a video, you will get notified. Have a great day. Bye.